mimi nakwambia uko na sheria tuko na sheria na tufate sheria watu wameongea hapa mambo mengi na unajua uko nyuma hii housing bill hii housing task eh, tax hii sio mara ya kwanza kuja hata mzee uhuru alileta na ni mimi ni mmoja wale tuliichapa mpaka ikarudi kuwa voluntary na nimemaliza kusoma bajeti yako Ijumaa nimeisoma kila kipengele Ijumaa ina maneno mazuri ina maneno mabaya watu wasikudanganya hapa ati kila kitu iko sawa na yale maneno mabaya ambayo yako hal, pale mengi inafuruga katiba bwana rais wewe rafiki yangu hata unakumbuka ile mambo yanasawa ikianza nilikuja kwa ofisi yako transnational house nikakupata uko na oleka bwana oleka paro tukaongea tukaongea nikakwambia nataka kwenda kotini na naenda kupanda bus ya jioni niende niende bungoma ni file case ukani encourage ukachukua shilingi 1030 ukanipatia akasema tumia hii ikusaidie huku jua nilikuwa na shilingi 2000 peke yake <laughs> na nikaenda na tukafanya hiyo kesi ikaendelea miaka nane na nusu na kiwanja ndio hiki kilirudi kwa serikali na tena wewe sasa ndio unajenga industrial park so safari anasewa ni safari yako ulichangia pakubwa kwa sababu nilikuwa na shilingi 2000 na ukanipa shilingi 1030 Sio ilibadilisha mambo. Ndio <laughs> nasema wende rafiki yangu lakini mbele ya katiba. Katiba ni rafiki yangu mkubwa kuliko wewe. <laughs> na nimeangalia finance bill na finance bill inafuruga katiba kwa katiba kwa vipengele kama sita. Na mimi nakuomba waheshimu katiba wazitoe kwa sababu wasipozitoa tunaenda kukabiliana kotini there is nothing to complain about but there is everything to fight for but let us avoid that fight let people not fool you here let people not deceive you there are issues in that in that katiba where even the supreme court has pronounced itself that need to be honored We have things in that katiba kama hii housing eh, levy ilikuwa kwa ile nyingine na mimi ndio nilienda kotini kaichapa mpaka ikarudi kwa voluntary sasa mnataka tena nirudi kotini wana rais tafadhali turaizishe tunataka kuunga mkono mimi na kuunga mkono nataka utawale kila nchi ya Kenya because if you succeed and I always pray for you when I wake up in the morning among the intercessions i make i pray for you as the president of kenya to succeed because if you succeed kenya is a better off for everybody but your excellency if you fail we all fail so i pray for you i pray for the pope and i pray for religious leaders in my intercessions so please i plead with you i have already prepared a petition to go to court But when I had you coming to Busia I did not find it last week. I held on. I pray that we look at this bill if we can avoid having to go and fight in court, we avoid. But if we people are coming here to say that everything is okay and what have you, then next week we shall be fighting in court and it's bad for friends to fight. Thank you your excellency and God bless you.